We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. 59 years have passed since John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States of America, gave this speech at Rice University in Houston, Texas. With this speech he motivated a whole generation to go to the moon. Everyone felt the call of go to the moon. NASA at that time was barely four years old since it was founded and they only had 30 minutes of flying experience. But NASA felt they had to do it. NASA designed in a very short time the first ship that would go to the moon. It was called Saturn IB. That ship was disastrous. In 1966 the lives of three astronauts were killed. At that time the government lost confidence in the NASA due to the accident and NASA's senior officials had to convince Congress that they could continue with the Apollo program. NASA got the confidence of Congress and the Apollo program continued. Now NASA had learned from its mistakes and designed the colossal Saturn V, the most powerful machine created so far, designed by Werner von Braun a supporter of Hitler, who had knowledge in rocketry because the Nazis launched the first aerial missile, the V-2. Soon it would be the moment when Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon but President Kennedy would not see this dream come true because he was assassinated. After that, it was launched on October 11, 1968 by means of a Saturn IB-type rocket and with the first crew composed of the astronauts Apollo 7. The mission consisted of testing performance tests of the Saturn rocket and its interaction with the crew. It was also the first use of the Apollo suits and most importantly, the first live broadcasts from space. In the entire mission, a total of 700 images were taken and one of the crew members took a historical image, it is not known who was of the three. The next day that image was in all the newspapers of the world. But to learn more about this mission, let's learn how Saturn V and the Apollo 11 work. Saturn V lifts off and separates from the two main stages helping to free itself from Earth's gravity. Thanks to the speed, the Saturn V gets the speed to leave the terrestrial orbit and goes straight to the Moon. Because there is neither gravity nor air in space, the service module is separated and positioned contrary to the lunar Apollo module, then the service module slows the spacecraft and helps it enter the lunar orbit. Then the lunar module separates from the service module that remains orbiting and the lunar module lands on the Moon. Apollo 11 astronauts spent two hours on the lunar surface and then climbed onto the module and shot out to get into orbit. And reattached to the service module. Now they are ready to return to Earth. Now we go back to Apollo 11. After the success of the mission, NASA decided to launch three more Apollo missions, until Apollo 11. That was the one that changed everything. Apollo 11 was the one that landed on the moon with Edwin Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. Michael Collins he was waiting in the lunar module orbiting the moon. On July 20, 1969 the lunar module manages to land successfully. But before continuing, once in the lunar module, how NASA decided which of the two crew members would be the first to step on the lunar surface, well, NASA ended up deciding that Neil Armstrong would be the first to step on the moon since in training Neil if he had an accident with his machine and knew how to handle the situation very well. They say that if Armstrong had taken two seconds longer to hit the button, he would have died. Thanks to that, Neil managed to earn a foothold on the moon. On that mission, the astronauts collected 24 kilograms of Moonstone to be investigated. After Apollo 11, six more flights came but the nation lost interest in the subject since the reason why the United States wanted to go to the moon was not for scientific reasons. They were for political reasons since the United States wanted to win the Soviet Union in the space race. But thanks to the human step on the lunar surface we now have inspired people who believe in going into space.
To learn more, you can see this National Geographic series on Disney+. Thanks for watching.